Hey everyone, it's Nadia from the Idea Designs and I'm back with another tutorial. Today's going to be a quick one. We're actually just uh, working with some some 3D fabric paints here on this resin tray. So I poured the resin first and I let it cure in this beautiful mold from Molds and Shapes. And you can just even see around the edges how it has this cool design of the resin as it moved inwards to the middle. And I really want to keep that while I add the design in the center. So I'm using these 3D uh, fabric paints and there's a mixture. Some are metallic and some are not. And I've just picked um, a a, just a different um, selection. So this way I can kind of test them out and see which ones work best. And I'm using my peony embroidery technique for this. This, but I will be painting uh, it's mostly flowers but some other elements to this piece as well so that uh, we can get a really pretty and vibrant bouquet of flowers so we started off with this really nice metallic pink and next I'm using an orange that is not metallic and the idea here is to uh, basically just draw out the shape of your flower petals and uh, for this one here for the orange flower we're going to be kind of doing a side view or a not quite fully opened bloom and then we use our brush to um, create our embroidery lines and because this is kind of more of a side view or not quite an open flower we're going to be dragging them down towards where we think the stem kind of would be and that gives us the look that we're going for for a full bloom like the pink one we move everything again it's kind of to the middle if you think about where the stem would be of the flower that's where everything is kind of going towards is that area there and next we're going to make a yellow flower and um, this one as well is not a metallic paint. I was trying out both metallics and the non-metallics so that I can get an idea of how they look under the resin once we top coat this because um, I know the metallics look really nice but I wasn't 100% sure about the non-metallics if it's going to look the same. So I want to test that out in this pack from Ma magic fly it just it had both so i figured it was an easy enough um test to do here so so we have our yellow flower and then we're also going to be using purple and this purple here is just a beautiful color and again this one's a metallic so it's going to look really pretty i believe um under resin so and i'm just going to have a few flowers kind of peeking out the sides and uh yeah, so I really just wanted to make something that was really colorful and it actually kind of gave me, and my daughter actually mentioned it, it gave me kind of Encanto vibes like from the movie. So uh, just because it was so colorful. But anyways, let's go into a time lapse and I'll finish up the rest of these flowers and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so we're just going to finish up with some really pretty little blue flowers around the edges. It's kind of like a baby's breath or a small little blue flower. And here's a nice close up of how all those flowers looked once they were done. And this is what it was still wet. So we had to let, let it dry probably for about four or five hours, maybe a little bit longer. And then I did go in and added a couple layers of clear top coat resin on it. And once those top coats were all nice and cured, I got it out of the mold 
and I decided I want to add some gold edging to it. So um, I don't know if you can tell, you'll probably see it better when I do a close up later on, but I found that the non-metallic paints didn't actually, um, they kind of flattened out. I mean, not technically they didn't flatten out like Obviously, it was still still 3D before I put the resin on, but um, once the resin went on, it kind of, that the resin itself kind of seemed to flatten it out, whereas the metallics really seemed to still hold um, their you know the look of the structure. Like you can actually see the texture in them. So I probably say that if you want to use uh, these type of fabric paints for your pieces, then I would definitely go with the metallics. Uh, just kind of go with that side, unless you want a flat look and then you can do the non-metallics. So anyway, you can see here um, the final look. If there's, if you wanted to know any of the products that I use, check the description under this video and you'll find links there. Thanks so much guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.